You know cheaters. And you know cheaters. Bernie Madoff arrested by the FBI. Indeed, I did have Russia a relationship. received a four-year ban. And you know cheetahs? Dangerously cheesy. But here's what you don't know. What is the Konami code? The Konami code. The Konami code. Konami code. Because the company name is, is Konami. 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 Everybody, grab your pencils. You're gonna want to write this down. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. If you grew up in the 1980s and 90s, you'll immediately know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, you might think I'm having a stroke. Why are you still watching this video? I might be having a stroke. This is the legendary Konami code, the magical talisman that could unlock anything and everything in an 80s kid's childhood. Say the magic word. Yeah. Remember, taking something that isn't yours just isn't right. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! The Konami code seemed like it was in every game. It was always right there when you needed it. Unlike you, Dad. Even now, if you type the code into any modern smartphone, it unlocks a secret ice cream mode. Did you try it? Idiot. The infamous Konami code began its ubiquitous journey when it offered users a lifeline in the impossible to beat game, Contra. That's not where the code originated, though. The code actually originated three years earlier in a game called Gradius. Gradius. Konami. Video game developers have a very tough job. They need to pay close attention to every detail. Once a game is developed, it needs to be played over and over again to make sure there aren't any bugs. Ha! Not that kind. Remember, anything worth doing is worth planning. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Tough job, right? For one of Gradius's developers, Kazuhisa Hashimoto, this was a tough job. Mostly because he sucked at video games. Look how cute he is. And he's trying to shoot with a smoke grenade. I'm sorry, what are you whispering right now? No, nothing. Like Contra, Gradius was an extremely difficult game. Hashimoto had no idea how to beat it. The infamous Konami cheat code was originally inserted into Gradius not to help consumers, but to give Hashimoto all the power-ups available and let him search the game for bugs. Ha! Huh, not that kind, with his pride intact. Isn't it better to try to solve problems instead of running away from them? Now I know. And, and knowing, knowing is half the battle. battle. G.I. Joe! Developers liked Hashimoto's idea and started using the same code in their games. Users didn't really start to pick up on the code's existence until Contra, where it gifted users 30 extra lives on top of the game's generous three. Oh no, a grenade! Oh, grab the kids, what are we gonna wait a minute? I'm immortal f***ers! Wait, no! Wait, no! Hey, no! What kind of sick f***? gives a man exactly 30 lives! Like the pictures you sent to your ex-girlfriend, the code was everywhere. And now has been used in over 100 games, been referenced on television shows like Who Wants to Be a Man Whoever and Family Guy. Okay, okay, uh, uh, try this. Hit up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. Then we'll have unlimited lives. It's even shown up in weird places like an announcement by the Canadian government for a new currency. It's about time. What started as a developer's code to cheat his own game has become a pop cultural touchstone, like Justin Bieber, or hating Justin Bieber. This just goes to show you kids, if you have a really hard task in front of you, find a way to cheat. G.I. Joe! This has been another exciting 30 Extra Lives episode of What You Don't Know. <laughs>